Thank you very much, Frankie. Yes, indeed. Round two is set. She's underway and the bird is in the air. And look at this playing route. Straight smack bang down the middle of Erin. Girl, we'll go north to south. So this should pretty much allow everybody to be able to get into the usual drop zone. No one really has to have any pressure of getting further distance. I mean, if you were going to say there was anyone who, who may have a bit of a further time at the Batines down kind of the, the west coast area. So Ghost looking towards Prim. You're going to have Tempo Storm looking towards somewhere around that west coast area, the Badlands, as we sometimes like to call it. Ghost actually opting to uh, la go out a little bit late. In fact, Alliance. it's Alliance, Alliance who have gone last. So now the Alliance... Uh, and I, Space Station, I think. I mentioned this early in the uh, in the last game. Is a team going to realize, okay, Rogue isn't here. Um, we've got Millie Island open for the taking. We didn't see anyone go there uh, last, last round, but... We'll keep a close eye on that. Always fun to see what happens at military. Looks like Ghost That's landing cool, there. Dude. I like uh, it. And Alliance, but Alliance more that central location in the cent center of military. No real challenge there. And, you know, Ghost has a lot of looting to do by that bridge. So something to look out for in the future, I suppose. Either Ghost going towards the military. I don't expect that to happen. I guess it depends on where the zone goes. But then these bridges, of course, always going to be a big part of the story uh, in PUBG. If anyone's on military, these two bridges, only two abilities to really get across the other island unless you go by the water. So we'll have to see if anyone decides to really keep a close eye on those bridges. But I'm looking out for FaZe, obviously, to do a little bit better. I'm looking out for the Knights to do a little bit better. I'm really going to keep a close eye on Energy and Space Station because of how well they were doing in that first round. And we'll see if they can keep it up. But for now, FaZe back to Milta. It's exactly what they did in the last round. They're kind of a, a Milta team. Vitality going to the same place as well uh, as the last round. Uh, but for now, of course, we're going to be looking out for that first blood because once again, uh, you, we have bounties going on here at they the do. PUBG Pan Continental. So if you get first blood, you're, you're taking steps towards a $2,000 bounty. So we'll keep an eye on that, but we have the zone dropping down top middle. Very similar, actually, uh, to the last game. Yep. So not on military. So we're going to have to see a lot of movement once again from the south side of this map uh, more towards that middle. So we'll have to see if anyone really, you know, we, we heard in those interviews they're talking about the ed edge guarding and a lot and some people, some teams making a little bit more of a risky move, trying to go a little bit deeper in the circle. So I wonder if we're going to see more of the edge play or if we're going to see more teams really try to get, get a little bit closer to the center of that circle. You love to see it. Circle, not much water in. So if we're going to have a good one, it's going to be this one. Kind of same scenario as previous. Mm -hmm. But will things fare different for FaZe Clan, unfortunately, again? They are coming into this off the back of a, of a rather unfortunate loss. I mean, everyone can say, oh, they didn't make PGI, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, fair play. They didn't make it to the biggest <laughs> stage in PUBG, but they still came fourth. They missed out by yeah. one placement. They still give it their all. They still went there. They're still proving that they're an amazing team. But pretty much um, an appalling game number one. Um, shout out to Exete for still, you know, at least speaking after the, I can't imagine after a loss yeah. like that, it's easy to do and yeah. you've got to kind of bite your tongue a little bit. So still getting involved and, and Dave speaking to the players, kind of saying, you know, what went wrong? They they, they arrived late game, they arrived last and they just hit a, a, a brick wall of C9, to be honest with you. Rather unfortunate for Fuzz, I think the vehicle as he jumped out, because he knew that he saw there were a player there, started shooting, so he bailed. I think the, uh, the vehicle clipped him on exits. So that's a bit of a, a poor situation because it is a man like Fuzz who can kind of win those one and we, you know one v one scenarios. That's how individually talented these players are. But almost identical to the previous yeah. one. Uh, everyone will be nice and chilled. Talatir up at here, chilling in Yasnaya Poliana because there's no liquid. Uh, yeah. uh, you wouldn't see these guys in here if there was a liquid. Let me tell you. You hear that plane overhead? I know a lot of PUBG players very used to that sound. We'll have to see where that ends up going and who ends up making a move. Uh, I want to say, though, I, I love that feature we saw of uh, Andy. Andy Pyro, getting a, bit, a good amount of his story there we saw before this round happened. And he is on Method, and they are currently situated pretty nicely in the circle uh, in that uh, Pachinki area. So uh, Method potentially setting themselves up for a nice a nice round. Optic, meanwhile, going straight back to Roz. And that's, it, it, you know, right at the center of the circle once again. So Optic, once, you know, finding themselves in the center of the circle in, for the second round in a row. And we have Team Gates there you see in that area as well. So those, those are the three teams, Method, Team Gates, and Optic, that are really close to the center of that circle. So we'll keep an eye on that as we see the crate uh, there dropping in the middle, kind of middle right-hand area of this uh, this circle. Nice little AUG in there, 5.56, five, military. All the level three, a nice little ghillie suit. So we'll have to see if anyone makes a play towards that. Meanwhile, Energy Envy, I'm, I'm going to be really curious about how that unfolds in the top right because they're kind of close to each other. And they got a decent distance to go, and they're kind of split up at the same time. So... I want to keep a, a close eye on those two and see how that ends up unfolding. I'm trying to see if it's actually... I don't think there's any European team over at 100 points. I mean, Alliance is there with 175, but with Brexit, I don't really call them a European <laughs> team anymore. It's more a UK team. Um, 
That's a good thing we can catch it. Well, we're not European anymore, oh, boys. Man. We're UK. Yes, we stand alone. <laughs> hey, you gotta know, hate politics. It, it can it can work out sometimes. <laughs> Best of luck. Uh, You'll need it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean. We're going to start seeing these moves happen here as we have uh, just a, over a minute left. And I, I was kind of wondering if we were going to see any earlier moves once that circle uh, plays down, especially from FaZe. But FaZe, you know, they're staying uh, efficient at Milta. FaZe is still at Milta, looting around. So we saw them really, uh, you know, um, get exposed for doing that last round where, where they weren't in the circle and they had to kind of go a decent distance. And they were the first team knocked out. So we'll have to see if FaZe changes it up a little bit. And Vitality is close to them as well as we get another shot of that crate. Looks like no one really going towards that. I guess no one really seeing it. Echo kind of from uh, Team Gates kind of going in that area, but not able to uh, not able to, to find that crate. Maybe they saw it drop and was looking for it and wasn't able to find it. Groza is, in my opinion, like best gun in the game. It's, I mean, fair enough. You can say, oh, well, AW Worm and all that lot. Okay, yeah, it's good. It's, it's the biggest, you know. Nastiest gun in the game, but still, when it, these, these final engagements, it, it's long range. Yeah. These final engagements all come down to close quarters. If you if you're running into a final circle with players alive still, and you rocked up at level threes, and a grows on the back, if you can get the silencer on the end of it, just for the five percent deviation, because you can't put a comp or a flash on it, because then it would really be too damn OP. It can attach the uh, the silencer. If you whack that on the end of it, the grows is just it's, it's so yeah. accurate. And of course. it doesn't really have much of a spray pattern. I mean, okay, obviously all these, these spray patterns are, are quite random. That's, it's not like CSGO where you can practice a spray pattern over and over again. That's why the, I, I think you, you've got to learn to just either tap fire or control these weapons and go with the flow, so to speak. But yeah, the Groza fires so accurately and you know it's the damage of an AKM. It fires super, super fast. I love it. We'll see if uh, yeah, FlyQuest two two. here on the on the map, and it looks like Punish from FlyQuest is going to be the first. Which is this? Is it the Org or the Groza? We're going to find out here in a second as Punish goes forward, investigating what's going on, and he is going to pick himself up a Org. Yep. So I org. think more importantly, I'm not a fan of the Org. Since the nerf came in, the five five six, it's it's, it's another five five six gun in my opinion. Okay. It's just there's nothing really special about it. It's a good gun, but it, there's nothing. Fine with your scar and uh, I'm an AKM boy. Okay. I'm 762 man. Five, five, okay. so for 556, five, so it's good. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'll give you that. More importantly, it's the level 3s. Gotcha. Like, because level yeah, 3 yeah, yeah. helmets can no longer be found on the map, they're not a world spawn, it's the sniper rifle. It's the sniper's meta. It's the DMR's meta. You know, the, yep. your, your marksmen have a, have a field there. Just and When you've got people who are really good snipers that can pip a face at, you know, three, four, five hundred meters. Yep. It's it, it's fun to watch. Um, Rafi with the budget helmet. That's not fun to see. You got the level one on. If someone just pops you in the face, you've uh, <laughs> yeah, you kiss your backside goodbye. Unfortunately, yeah. so you need those level twos going into the circle. And I don't believe that crate on the right hand side that we're seeing on the screen has been investigated. No, yet. the two stripes was, yeah. means uh, you're a full one. If you see the other one, it'll be fully red now. So the two stripes yep. does mean that that's going to be a nice. Uh, they've been tagged up pretty hard. The cast smoking. Their life's uh, they're about. 30% HP, so... Yeah, there's, I think it was Envy, kind of. That's what we were talking about earlier. But I think probably Envy and uh, NRG trading some shots uh, there in the top right as they're trying to make their way towards the circle. We're getting a shot here of Envy, uh, Check Shooter, and Jesse kind of running their way towards that zone as we see NRG sneaking around the right-hand side. Meanwhile, FaZe, they're starting to make their move for Milta. They're, crying, they're trying to group up in these vehicles. We've got Vitality moving up as well from the bottom right as... Uh, We'll see what happens with FaZe here because, again, <laughs> they were knocked out. They were knocked out first round. They were the first team knocked out in our first round. So I they definitely, you know, there's nowhere to go from here. From uh, There's nowhere to go but up. They have five points. I don't like Gemti being the scout. This is just my personal opinion, right? Gemti is one of their strongest fraggers. The man is he, he's a brick house. He's a monster. He's, he's an insane fragger. Why does he lead the pack? And this could be a question that everyone, the pro players, like, why is he even bother asking oh, this? No! Venerator's gone what dead. Is he, what is he doing? He's, Envy is so split Kaden up right now, man. Kaden the same way, please. Kaden should just split from this line. Nope. The, I'm gone. Envy bye -bye. is so split up right now. Like, what? It's it's good to do. It's good to have these scouts because then, again, the rest of you, you, you lose one player as opposed to losing multiple. But they're it's so deep in the circle. I mean, they're bound to run into a team, you right? It's find... like, it's inevitable. Like, oh, Kaden, no. No, two and players might see him. Like, like, uh, there's nothing, oh, no, there's no, there's he's no safety there. Woo, he's oh, gone. he's trying to sneak on by. That was a clever maneuver. Don't flip it. Oh, oh balls, he's flipped okay. it. Yeah, this That's is. Run. Get it up. Run, get up sweet to, get Prince. The he doesn't even have a back. Come on, stop flipping. All right, we're not playing the Neymar here. Just want the, just want the 
He's getting shot at, though. That's Smithy from Totality trying to land some shots on a Kaden. That's a quick motorcycle, though. And his health is so low, though, for Kaden. Oh, single oh, he's, tap. Single tap 16's dead. Alive? Okay. Okay. Staying sneaky. Everything is fine, Alex. Everything's fine. Everything. This is fine. Yeah. Dot PNG. He, uh, he's going to go find his team, I would expect, and report back his findings. Or he can probably he might just tell his team to come up to the north because it's kind of it's kind of empty up there. So we'll have to the keep an eye on that. The clear, boys. Yeah. Meanwhile, Fates making their way deeper in the circle. That's what we we're talking about. They're not messing around with the edge. They kind of went straight to the middle, but now they're kind of in between three teams. Yeah. Going back to, to what I was speaking, I was speaking about earlier on that Gemti's. Oh, right. I'm gonna have to pause again because yeah, this sure. could be uh, Mexico going down if he sees the fist. Yeah. All right, he's got the car. It's close. They don't realize that H wins here. Six times on the car 98. It's a nice weapon, nice scope as well. Yeah. He's patient. He's just going to wait until he gets the prime target for the first. Look for that for head to pop up. That's what he's looking out for right now. Now we got some shots in. There we go. Now they know they're there. Just Gemti's like that. Gone again. Gemti, gone. Same, same again. This is the thing. Like, oh. Gemti always goes first. He's kind of looking around, and then he's he found himself. He's one of their main himself. fraggers. Yeah. He, he, he can't have one of your number one fraggers going down early game like this. You're losing so much. This is, this is, it really upsets me to see. It yeah. really does. Was he trying to check out Pachinki or something? Trying to find it's, an area. That's all they've got yeah. to do. They're trying to find somewhere, but he's just rather unlucky that they're running into teams that have already moved early. Yeah, and that and that's Space Station. Remember, they won. They won in uh, in round number one, so they're uh, they're feeling good right now. And Phase, but are you look. definitely known. They're they're kind of sandwiched. Yeah, if we can go back to that map again, just really quickly to kind of give these people at home exactly the, the overview of how many teams look. Knights can see them. TG, if they look out of school, probably Method won't be able to see, see them. them. Vitality, if they move in, will be able to see them. SSG can see them. Method might be able to see them. That's a rock and a hard place. That's a yikes from me. Hey, but if anyone can pull it out, maybe it's FaZe. Yep, they're, 100%. They're, they're like challenge accepted. Bring it on. We, we want to get some of those kill bounties, so uh, they're going to have to really focus in. But meanwhile, Method being dis uh, distracted a little bit by hey, uh, Tempo Storm, a little bit to the left of them, and they're just jumping in cars and running. Well, nailing from the window, yeah. Driving straight towards them, but now kind of peeling away. Uh, let's see what happens here. It's 2v4. I'm not sure where the rest of Tempo Storm is, actually. I think they might be split up a little bit. Seen some fire exchange. Method is like, okay, we want to loot here, but Tempo Storm is already here. I'm pretty sure they already looted all this area, so we'll have to see... How this unfolds is Tempo Storm kind of backing up. Looks like uh, the two members, uh, two additional members of their team, get to kind of regroup as they realize what's happening here. Four v four situation between Tempo Storm and Method. That's Andy Pyro looking to get some good shots here as Method just charging into this compound. They wanted it, and it looks like they took it. And now it's up to Tempo Storm to try to take it back if they want to. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Andy with the K9 as well. Keep an eye on the kill feed, see if he gets a knock. Initially, Zamper. They're surrounded, man. Finds another player from FaZe. That's what I mean about the third party. FaZe just coming under fire from several different angles. They're not in the greatest of position once again. They're out in the oh, open. No. Texas gets battered off the end of the bike. Nice. And so does Voxic as well. So, C9, they've got 14 points and two players, Knights. Back to back. Remember, the oh, Knights man. have qualified for PGI Berlin. You were talking about yeah, this in the previous. I was hyping them up, man. If they've got to prove that they deserve. They do. And not that they deserve right. it, but they've got to show what they're capable of. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a remarkable opportunity that here. That could for be Knights good. That to, could be good. To uh, to really make something happen. But as it stands, they're caught. Like, as you mentioned, a rock and a hard place here. One player left. Kind of just driving through the zone, which I, you know, more on that later. On my opinions on that, but they just ran into Cloud Nine and they just got shot up. Two of them. Two of them gone. I think only two, actually one up here, just Drayden from Knights. He's going to try to be uh, the savior of the team here. So I didn't expect this. Try to going pull back up a to a 16-team mare from a 20-team, I thought we'd have less kind of early engagements and, and less of a bit of a mess. Um, Hexet has actually been, pick, been picked back up, so Fuzz does keep two, three members of Fizz still in the game, but they're getting tanked up yeah. from school windows. So they have to be very careful on that one. Drayden's literally just begging that somebody kills Fizz and at least gives him some kind of not last dead last place yeah uh all teams still up so so uh no last place from this round just yet and i don't know if it's if it's everyone just trying to move more quickly or maybe a little okay. bit more confidence but see now they're really and quick movements in the circle they know he's there still i think that uh, are they gonna converge yeah, this is the backing off actually mm. it's hard to, it's hard to say what they what they're thinking i mean there could be one there there could be another team in the distance maybe they're just playing super cautious don't want to mess with that. But, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised they didn't go a little bit further. But but as I was saying earlier, just uh, we're seeing a, a few teams just caught off. Like, Knights there was just driving across this, this is the zone in near the middle. And it's like, I don't see how that ever kind of works uh, because you're inevitably going to run into someone. So just very curious to see to see that. 
couple of teams running scared here. Caden's going to put some fire down onto Dignitas. Oh, telling his he's teammates where they are, too. Yeah, he's going to be on his tail. With the, they're actually pulling up. Oh, it's a great move. What a play there. Well, Envy. The... That's good communication, but that's a motorcycle, so he's, he's just going to get out of there. But a lot of damage taken. So close to taking those two guys out. And that, you know, we mentioned uh, these teams splitting and, and the strategical advantages there. Caden was able to communicate that Dignitas was in the area to let his teammates know, and they hopped off and, and took some shots, and it almost paid off for him. Almost Tempo taken out. trying to hit Method from two different angles here. They've advanced into Cloud the Cloud9's behind him, too. Yeah, so they've got to be really careful. They don't overextend. They're trying to get an angle onto Method, maybe pincer them from the side. And uh, Drayden Dray Dray just... Yeah, Drayden still just, oh God. just proning Moody. in the grass there. That's my strategy uh, with five people left. And the circle's really small. I mean, he's holding his bandages, just praying he doesn't have to use them again. Yeah. That's he a tough spot. I mean, they're in the middle. He's in the, the he's in the middle of the open right now. He's in the middle of the open with just using hills and just the long grass as cover. So I, I think he's just hoping the circle just zones in on him. I think that's his plan right now. So we'll keep an eye on that for uh, Drayden there from Knights. But as you mentioned, Method kind of holding down that compound, Tempo Storm. Uh, again, kind of looking in that direction. Definitely know that they're there. That was the initial... Uh, exchange that happened, Method kind of taking over that compound from Tempo Storm. So we'll see if Tempo Storm still tries to take that back as the circle zones in <laughs> and uh, it actually does go kind of on to Jadon. So Jadon going to be maybe just chilling a little bit longer in his little secret spot. But the big movements are going to be happening here from Dignitas, NRG, Envy. They are the furthest away from this zone, so we'll have to see if those moments happen. And look at this uh, space station moving incredibly quickly. I really like that move. Right when that zone is revealed, trying to just find a good spot right away. But we see Alliance here. They're watching them come in and trying to take those shots. But you saw from one of those players that he didn't have a helmet. So these guys have already been tanked up. He's also at 50% HP, so they've been battered upon arrival. They're kind of in all kinds of danger here. They're all spread up in this building fight. A team like Alliance isn't going to bother trying to take them in a building. There's no point. Why bother push them? You, you, you yeah. run the risk of losing a player for, for seven points. It just for ain't sure. worth it. And it's still early. There's, exactly. You know. There's no point. They're inside the circle. With a circle like this, you won't see too much movement and too much of a rotation come through because it's fallen where people are. They're already chilling. They're already happy. Why do they really have to move anywhere? There's not a massive rotation. Yeah. You still have teams like NRG and Dignitas that have got to kind of work the way. In. I like this shot. This is nice. Yeah, we're seeing a look of that uh, space station. What would be Inception is if they actually managed to get the over shoulder of the player we've got on screen. That would be some next level Inception. I, I'm, I'm hearing echoes of challenge accepted <laughs> from uh, production, so we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I love the fast movement there from space station, just getting into that zone right when it's revealed and, and finding a nice little cozy spot. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Drayden from Knights, we're always going to keep talking about him because he's still alone, really close to Cloud9. We'll see what happens there. I've seen the size of him. Uh, is he a, is he is he muscular? He's, he's a big lad. Yeah. I um. Can he beat me in an arm wrestle? I think he could beat us all in an arm wrestle together. At once. Wow. I think he could put both arms wow. out and we could try take one each and okay. we probably wouldn't even come close. All right. That's that's impressive. It is. Probably get a shot of that later and maybe ask him about it uh, in an interview. But can he translate that fortitude and that strength into this match here? I'm as, glad you picked up on it. Yeah. As uh. As NRG actually on the right side, they're trying to move in here, getting a shot of that. Uh, but FaZe, FaZe is in that area as well. But it looks like Method is 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 the one that's taking shots at NRG. It's an interesting one because look at how split they are. I mean, fair play if he dies at least. They can back off, but yeah, if he does go, if he up. does get in an engagement, it, how, oh. how do you do a how do you run a three versus one? You, you don't. Okay, now they're moving. Now the advancement's coming. You can still see from Fuzz, he's looking at the teams in the There's distance. Some, we're hearing some heavy rifle shots, by the way. So. I think it's warning shots at this yeah, stage. No one's really going to go massive, you know, big flanks, big rotations. Yeah. You know as a player that most of these buildings will be taken now, or at least all the prime locations. Um, SLR, dirty, dirty weapon. Nasty, nasty DMR. We'll take out the, uh, the yeah. wheels here. So Ghost, they built themselves a little fort, but it's not going to be mobile after this one. All right, they've still got uh, a car in the back. Yeah. They've got two, so and they can probably get away with that one. I mean, Unless you can see the tires, actually. You all it takes is one grenade. Uh, wow, that's a, that's what I'm saying. That's a banger. That's what I'm saying. Like we're hearing these high, high, these very high-powered rifles going off, and they're getting some shots. FlyQuest, eat them under the car, I think. I, you know, FlyQuest, they're they're in a pretty nice spot here. A decent amount of cover, and they got some powerful weapons, and and they're using them effectively. I, I'm pretty sure a little bit earlier, I saw FlyQuest shooting at Tempo Storm, all the way across, and actually landing a shot. So, it was so impressive because it was through the. Uh, Throw like the bushes and, and shrubbery. Yeah, FlyQuest, as you can see on the map here, they were shooting towards Tempo Storm 
all the way to the right. See, you can see those shots there. They know they're there. They're taking sniper shots really far away. We're seeing it right there. Uh, so <laughs> so they're taking okay. those shots from, from really far away, and they're actually hitting some. So this is where it gets interesting. You've got Drayden up at the top there, last man standing literally edge on the, the edge of the circle. Yeah. Wookie Bucky, big boy sniper Ooh, rifle Vitality. in play. you got the M24, so he at least gets one shot off, and now they're moving into Vitality to try and make something else happen. Monkey Good takes shots. a couple of shots to the chest. But the northern edge of this circle is where things get really treacherous because there's about four teams who are probably we're going to collide. Yeah. Method, though. Two members. Wow. Of what? Phase. They're yeah. down to what? Phase trying to trying to get into the zone really quick, but Method was there. They're in a great spot on the edge of that circle in a compound. They saw Phase coming and getting some great shots. Only Hexede uh, is, is, is around. And NRG, they're in the same area, so they're trying to go do the same thing that Phase did, but I'm sure they saw what happened earlier. Team Gates is also in that area as well, but right, right now we're seeing a shot of Vitality. This is Vitality against Dignitas at the moment as they're trying to, to take control of this bottom left circle, but we're seeing a ton of movement right now. Even Optic on the north side uh, is trying to come in. They might run into Drayden, and C9 is there. So we might see Optic against C9 happening soon as it. well. He knows it. He can hear the footsteps. Yep, there's Drayden. He's, he's looking both directions. He's been in this spot the whole game, and there is Drayden. No! He's and gone. that's it. You know, good job. Optic send the Knights home, another European team, finishing in 16th place. That's yeah. a Kobe. Will that find a target in any way, shape, or form? It does. Wow. Good God. Just like that, uh, Cloud9 feeling the hurt from Optic. That's Optic sneaking in from Waterworld, coming into that north side of that circle, landing in an excellent grenade. But at the same time, Tempo Storm also shooting up in that direction, so I'll have to keep it on that. Meanwhile, Method uh, oh, is oh. keeping NRG out of the picture. <laughs> and what is that? <laughs> Uh, How's he in love? That was a, a vehicle <laughs> jump straight over <laughs> the last member Only in of PUBG. Here. Only in PUBG. And certainly, uh, FaZe will be 15th as... Oh, wait. Wait a second. This Hacks. could be good as well. Yeah, if, it's, uh, if it trickles down. It does. And oh, that can't So be. that's a 16th and a 15th placement. Oh, man. For one of the world's best teams. Okay. What a rough start. Yep, there it goes. Yep. You hate to see it. Well, hey, we're only two rounds down out of 12. So there's, well, this is the second round out of 12 here this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So, you know, there's plenty of room to come back. But FaZe, as you mentioned, 16th in the first round, 15th here in this round. So they're certainly going to be trying to regroup and figure something out going forward. Uh, but it's interesting, you know, all teams lasting a pretty long time in this round, uh, you got to say. I think it took till the third zone for, for Drayden to be knocked out there from Knights. So all these guys really trying to sustain, sustain themselves as long as possible as we're taking a look at Andy Pyro from Method. They're chilling in that compound. They've been there since they took it over from Tempo Storm. NRG trying to sneak into the zone, Ugh. getting right at the edge here, but dealing with some uh, a lot of pressure there from Method. Method I'm taking a lot of shots well. there. No. No sight on that one. As Optic, they do make their way down the hill. Optic against Cloud9 here at the top. It is, and all of a sudden they're getting third pie. Look at that. Tempo Storm coming in. That's an M24 long distance. Yeah. Rally it. He's, uh, and they're shooting at they Optic. Buried him. I, I feel like they could have an angle on Cloud9 too if Tempo Storm would, would kind of peek in that Some direction. More grenades from Optic. And there we see. Um, goes for the drill, takes out two. Gets answered back, but I think that's three members of C9 down. I think literally Moody's just. Yeah. Chilling in smoke, snaking away. They're kind of in, you know, they're very much in the open, and they've been here, and they're trying to control the north side of this edge, but Optic storming in, and they're pressing the issue, taking out Moody, stabbing Rim. That's Optic what was doing what Optic does. Looks like Hetero dropped by Mo Moody, but he's probably going to No, he got picked off by Taro from Totality. Totality from the left side now looking in that direction as well. So Totality from the left, Cloud9 from the south. Tempo Storm from the right, Optic having to deal with all these directions, Optic taking out Cloud9, and from here, we, we might be able to breathe a little bit, because Optic has a little bit more room, Totality a little bit far away, but Totality actually taking shots at, at Tempo Storm at this point. Right now we're looking at Method here, though. Gotta be careful, didn't overextend, he wants this, and he wants are, to get aggressive, so I, close to I respect here. it. He's getting up close and personal like that, with yeah. the Vector, Ops to one side, he's still got 8C there on the left-hand side, they can work together. This is... A perfect, perfect yeah. pincer. Look at this. Play. Working as a duo to Energy. just clamp them in. One, two. Third one's there as well, K Mind. He's down. Yeah. They've now got to find the, the, the right fourth there. person. Yeah. But what a what a team what a way to work together and just pincer a team and collapse like that. That's so decisive. Amazing. Too. They're like, all right, let's do it. We we got a position here. And, and just just picking apart NRG. NRG, nothing much to be done. They're in a kind of an awkward spot, not really sure where to go. 
and they were dealing with a, a lot of suppression from different directions and energy taken out. Quite a lot of time we've been seeing, probably over the last six months, a lot of teams like to sit back, they like to chill, they like to just kind of get the little house, but seeing things like that gives me hope, but it's nice to see teams actually taking fights, yeah. getting oh, stuck and, in, And by the way, the there, is, there is one still alive from NRG, that's Snark. Uh, he's still alive and made his way to the zone. Kill features to a light at the moment. Yeah, look Mossy at this. as well. Also, TG Alliance falling to the hammer of Method. Alliance they come in as well. Alliance out NRG. Method taking out Team Gates. There's a lot of firefights happening all across the map. Uh, there we see Space Station and Envy going at it as well. That is at the bottom side of the zone. And Optic actually, in totality, Optic trying to drive straight into the zone. It's not going to work out. And Optic uh, falling to totality just like that. And, uh, gosh, I feel like they knew they were there but they just decided to jump in vehicles and go for it. Totality, waiting a little bit longer, and it's paying off. Meanwhile, we're seeing Ghost and FlyQuest going at it here. Uh, as plenty of exchanges there, as Ghost getting the better edge, edge of that, but FlyQuest returning back a knockdown on the Balak from Poonage. And... The grenades are gonna come through as well. They're still trying to advance forward. He does at least get the knock onto one shot. It also go it's down, so that's the third forth, player down here for FlyQuest. One person alive. DCB, dead and gone. There One, two, three, four, hit the deck. Yeah, that's that's a ghost everyone was hyping up they there. They pushed him as well. And FlyQuest you know, wanted that fight. Yeah, and, and FlyQuest, they've had a great game so far. Getting those heavy snipers, getting a lot of good uh, action here in the early part Back of the game. Reels. But they're taken out just like that by Ghost and Ghost. So they're going to be pumped about that, and they get that area secured. Meanwhile, that's look at this. This is Reels from Alliance. He's getting taken out by Caden from Envy. That's a mini. Uh, but Method... They're having to scramble. I think one of, one member of Method is, is is down, having to be revived, and they still have a decent way. Okay, they were able to sneak inside the zone in the in the safe zone. Caden there, so. just did him a favor. Literally, just did them a favor. Did by he just look away by by third party in and reels, checking out Alliance. Yeah. That's actually give Method the breathing room. It's he does go down. Maluk again cross map. Finish, gets the knock, gets the kill onto Molman. Man. They've been lurking for a while, though. This Tempo Storm fight started at the uh, the very beginning of the game, if you remember. Yeah. And yeah, now it's just sure. kind of continuing late game. So, Caden, I wonder if we're looking at Space Station right now. I wonder if they know Caden is there. I don't think they do. Because Caden is exactly where Space Station wants to go. So this could be interesting. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. For now, Wait. though. Some loops. That'll... Okay, so you look at what one solo damage has just done to Method. One guy on his own like this has just kind of caused them all kinds of problems by eliminating another player, at least. HC does get the knock, but he is revived. Is. Bullet to the brain, comes flying across the map. Loss HD. See you later, Maluk. That's yep. Tempo Storm. Gone. And, uh, Six teams up, 19 alive. And Caden from Envy did end up getting knocked down, uh, knocked out by, uh, by Space Station there. So Envy finishing, I believe, in seventh here. Uh, as Space Station able to identify Caden. And, you know, that's something you got to do. Caden, he's a player who can really make some noise happen. So uh, really good awareness, maturity, and patience there from uh, Space Station as they're heading on over to where Method is, trying to press the issue. Method, a little bit of trouble here on the right-hand side of this zone. And look at that Space Station just collapsing into that area, taking out Method just like that Space Station. Remember, they won in the first round here, and they've got to be feeling good, taking out both Envy and also knocking out Method, and now making their way to the circle. We have five teams remaining. Dignitas, Vitality, Ghost, Totality, and uh, Space Station here in round two. They oh, forced our that PUBG engagement. Pan Continental. I like it. They forced the engagement. Yeah. They knew exactly where Method was. They said, okay, boys, let's, if we clean up this team, we don't have to worry about anybody behind us then. We can kind of follow suit and follow the circle. Totality do have to be very careful. They're going to be taking this fight. If they do take the fight take uphill, long shots. it'll be a, a downhill struggle. Dignitas have set up a little bit of a wall here. They've got vehicles on this defilade hillside. Four up. Oh, Wookiee's got a 24 as well. Four up for Dignitas this, uh, to only the, the two uh, from Vitality. And Look at the gear, though. Level one helmet. Mm, it's only 30% damage reduction compared to something like 40% right. and a two and a 55 if you can get a if you can get a crit. So the level ones yeah. uh, are worrying to see and concerning. But still, four players alive is is a big bonus and a big positive. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. I mean, Vitality only has two, Ghost has three. Otherwise, we have three full squads in action: Totality, uh, Space Station, and Dignitas. And if Space Station can take this one too, and it's like it's not as <laughs> it's not as unlikely 
uh, here as they still have a full squad up. That would be incredibly impressive if they could uh, if they can take this win here, but we'll keep an eye on that. Totality is actually going to do them a favor because they've got eyes on Ghost from the back line. So yep. they can literally, if they start smashing Ghost a bit, say, so look, Vitality hey, has look come under damage. Too. Ghost has come under damage. The team's on the opposite end of the spectrum, Totality and Dignitas. They're going to be sitting happy. They're both teams got four players alive. Yeah. If everyone else is dying around them, happy days for them. They can cr cr crawl up the leaderboards. Yeah, and, and Space Station here taking shots at Dignitas. Dignitas looking back Ooh. in that direction. What a shot from Wookie. That's a headshot out of Vexel from Space Station. And they're going to respect that area for sure. Dignitas knowing they're there, but Space Station in a great spot in the, in the zone, honestly. The first one's there. They just got to hold tight and uh, and play pretty and play strategic here as they pick up their teammates. But they're in a good spot, and they know where, where teams are coming from. So I, I still like how Space Station looks right now. Chop, chop. Mookie Buki, the land giant himself. I'll be removing his helmet, so if anything from SSG, they've taken away a little bit of utility. He's now going to be bald and running around and taking the full amount of his 250% damage multiplier to face regardless. Yep. McCoy still. Four kills in the back here for Ghost. Three players alive. No helmet again. So this is the problem. When you've got no helmet, you're literally just... You're asking to die. Yeah. It's, it's so it's so cruel because you can't really do much, especially if you take a one-on-one -on -one engagement with a spray. You're just going to get melted every they, single time. They don't have a helmet, I suppose. McCoy. Uh, this is a ghost against totality. Neither team is in the zone, so they're both slowly making their way in that direction. Taro taking shots at Turtle here. Got Profi here from Ghost. Trying to... Uh, do a little bit of scouting here. As you mentioned, no helmet there. Got to be super careful. Dignitas are in the best place here. This this could be, as long as they can kill okay. off SSG from the back lines, I'll just keep getting a knock after knock. Finally, Adam onto Monkey. So that's the uh, the French boys down and out in fifth. 15 alive across four teams. Yeah. This is, uh, this is tasty. It kind of, it's going to be that third party system. Who who goes after who first? You've got two battles either end of the spectrum here. Down yep. the bottom side, Ghost versus Titality, top end. Dig versus SSG. Yeah, and it might be the winner of those two fights that uh, end up being our top two, so we'll keep an eye on that. Profi taking some shots on Taro here. We got Ghost moving closer and closer towards to totality. No, All of our teams again. are pretty much in this zone here, so we'll have to see where it moves. It's going to be moving pretty soon here. Taro still kind of outside the circle. A little bit vulnerable there. They're lacking so much gear. I'm seeing no helmets across the ball. There might be one between them. This is, this is brutal, man. I mean, uh, it's a ballsy play to go. For Ghost? To, yeah, to, yeah, to be pushing them. I, I, I respect it. They're individual shooters and they're really, really good. Um, but again, M4s, you Ooh. see in SMGs, Wookie again, another headshot with the knock comes through. Yeah, and that M24 is so powerful. Uh, Space Station, they're still around though. All four are still up. They're able to revive they're each other. Him. They're pushing him. Oh. Oh, wow, Dignitas, they're pressing the issue. I mean, they have to make their way to the circle. They don't want to just run to the, to the, to the small one. So here we go. Dignitas coming in, but Space Station knows they're there. They're going to turn around at the same time, the exact same moment. Ghost and Totality ex exchanging a lot of shots, too. But Space Station doing a great job. They knew they were coming, taking two out. Only two up here for Dignitas, one down. That's Kane, he's gone. Spur for the kill there. Oh, oh what a shot on a Wookiee. No. And that is Space Station from round one and it just ex extending their their performance of skill here in round two. Dignitas is pressing the issue. Space Station held their ground and they were able to take down Dignitas. Three teams left. What did I tell you? Those level one helmets, they're just, it's like a knife through butter. The K9 comes in, finds its target. Dignitas go down. It was a great effort. They tried, but unfortunately oh. things just didn't go their way. 10 kills in the bag for SSG. Crazy. This is insane. You got Smurf on the back lines again with the SKS silence. Tap, great eyes tap. here. Great, great vision here onto uh, totality as That's well. Double headshot as well. So he's knocked him and finished him back to back with the headshots on from the front lines. I mean, they're in two different angles. They're just. And not only that, totality is still feeling a little pressure from from Turtle from Ghost, uh, who's the last remaining member. So only two up from totality, one up from Ghost as uh, Space Station able to take down and uh, knock down another. Finally, Ghost is going to be knocked out as Space Station and Totality are the two next, and it's four versus two. It's inevitable. Smithy, unless you go absolutely nuts here, this will be Space Station's win, He's and then Smithy's the gone. There yeah. it is. Space Station again. What is going on? What is this team taking round one and round two? This is amazing to see. SSG, plenty of kills in the bags as well, so it's going to shoot them even further. I say up the leaderboard. They're in number one as it is, but it'll just make that gap between the rest of the teams even bigger. Space Station... Showing their confidence. Chicken dinners, round one and two.